Bird to Kawaja with a slip in. Bit of swing, and it's wide, and it's through everyone. So a bit of a scrappy start by the Sixers. And it's going to get to the fence too. So you can go straight, or you can go through. You don't have to go over all the time. You can thread it through there. Oh, through everyone. It's going to be more against Philippi. That'll get to the rope as well. Reasonably expensive for his four wickets. Hales doesn't time the ball, but he's just such a big, strong, powerful man. He still finds the rope. That one he does time. That one he hits out of the middle. <laughs> it's gone again too. Right in his arc, just giving himself a bit of room, clearing his left side here, Hales. Been swung around and belted down the ground. Hasn't oh. timed that at all. And the Sixers get their first wicket. Jackson Bird breaks through. Yes, oh, that's a genuine ripper. He's knocked him over. Well, what about that for a ball? Ferguson departs. El Pope, one for none. He yeah, was the skipper, he was the keeper. I couldn't get a game to keep in the league because right. our captain was keeping. But anyway, back to the action here out in the middle. Big lunging effort there from... His Essex mullet. Pope continues. Drops that one down. And it's got away from short. Howes has picked it up hard, low, flat, and it's a six. Gee, that only went about three metres in the air, but that's his 50, his ninth in the big bash, his eighth for the Thunder. Billings takes a couple of strides down the wicket. Man, right on the rope. Uh, Dan Christian does it all, bats, bowls, and takes catches. Really that dangerous. Catch! Wasn't that short, and he's hold out as well. Silk's not going to drop one like that. O'Keefe, just before the break, picks up two. Four for 85. Huzzah! Well, that's really close. Yeah, that's out. Looked out immediately. O'Keefe, what a night he's having. Three for 13. And it's over already. Three on pace deliveries as well from Dan Christian, which is slightly unusual, and it gets to the rope again. Just blast that one away over the offside. Powerful man, Daniel Sams. That's why he strikes at over 200 in the tournament. No! Well, leading edge gets through everybody. Just skewed away off the outside edge. Ball to cutting. Edge, Philippi, good catch. Moved really well. And that's a big wicket at this stage of the game with the two surge overs still to come. A little bit of moisture, skip on. Ah! Another edge. edge. Yep. McAndrew will start with a boundary. Well, you did ask Shane Bond about the wicket. He said he was hoping it would slow up. That's on the hip. Low, flat, and six. Gee, picked that up. He flicked it away. Went all over cover where he could get really hurt. That's probably going to go straight to the man out there. He's got enough of it. And they get out of the over. That was there in a similar area, and it goes to the rope. So, 13 from it. Jit in the slot. He goes straight down the ground. Doesn't completely time the ball. Chip over the rope. Four. Final ball of the innings. Sams, can he wind up? Just jabs it down the ground for a boundary. Brings up a 50 off the final ball. His second of the big bash this season. Six for 166 for the Thunder. After the start they got, probably a touch under where they were looking to go, but a good competitive total nevertheless. Eight. Started the tournament wonderfully well with a 47. Oh, Philippi. Wax it away over mid-wicket. Oh. An aggressive sweep early from Philippi. That's a fine cricket stroke. Just short of a length. Philippi doesn't miss out. The wicket, the bowler. Oh. Like this short again and gets it through. So it's going to be three in a row. 
Oh, he takes on Cook. That's the best of the lot. Mid on, deep mid on, round a deep mid wicket. Oh, he's got that around the corner too, so the chase on again. He faced two deliveries in the onslaught. Well, that'll help though. Hello. Runs flowing freely. Oh, short of a length, and Avendano now wants a piece of the action. There's room over there on the leg side. And it's exactly where he goes. It sounded big, and it is big. Onto the hill. Oh, it kicks on as well. Honest Bruce built on him. <laughs> Avendano hits it in that direction again. Nowhere near as well. Time man stands underneath it. Much needed. Cutting takes the catch. And the Thunder desperately needed that one. The first falls. Swept hard. Jeez, a powerful young man. It's tugged hard and we'll find the rope. Yeah, first class ticket around the world and uh... he trusted himself. Gee, that's racing across that outfield and gets to the boundary. I wouldn't hold off for too long. Yeah! Oh, slow one played on. Cutting loves it. Yeah, cutting might have an effect as well. It was a good slower ball, as you say. Meets the dive. Hughes gets going nicely with the restrictions. Yeah! Hughes takes it on and gets oh. a wicket. Sanger breaks through. Oh, no. oh. I know where that was going. Jordan Silk in the end. It will fortunately find its way to the rope. Oh, right. Billings runs around, should take the catch, does. Well, there you go. The surge turns it on its head, Sams. First ball, Dan Christian takes it on. It's going to be a tough oh, one. Oh, no. It was Alex Ross racing back with the flight, never easy. Oh, that's nicely struck. It's really nicely. Taking wickets this year, McAndrew. Oh, Punched man. straight down the ground from Dan Christian. He's a powerful man. Those stocks. Oh, it's That's blaster. Shot. That's a good a shot as we've seen tonight. Over cover for a big boy. <laughs> One to win. Phillip is on 64. And he's bowled. Oh, no. It's like Rishabh Pant. You can't believe it. No, no, no. Carlos with one to win. Oh, oh he just punches it away. Should and that's a pretty like that was. Pretty convincing win for the Sydney Sixers. There was rain, but with the DLS method, the Sixers win it by five wickets and increase their margin on the top of the big bash table.